guys, Jordan Nathan Gilbert here, and today I'm going to talk to you about why it's important to make your mid-control on cash look the same every time. Now, a lot of times when I'm playing pickup games, people fall into the usual two people playing A, one mid, and two at B. The only problem with that is it's very easy to lose mid-control to the T's playing this way, and not only that, you really have to play dynamic on CT side cash to really have a good chance at getting a, a large number of rounds. Now the first step, of course, is the nades you throw. So you want to make your mid control look the same every round. For one, because it's actually important to throw these nades. And for two, so you could change your setup around these nades themselves. So the ways the protocol should work every time, or even if you're going to play a 2-on-2, two -two, you want to make sure your best spawn for uh, mid between the highway and the uh, mid player themselves are always coming out Z first and throwing this smoke as the first spawn and crossing. And then the second spawn is going to throw this Molotov. You get in the corner, you line up at this corner, and then as you hold shift or walk, whatever your walk is, you throw the Molotov. These two nades are really important because if the T's are going to rush, for one, they have to smoke out that Molotov, and for two, they have to come through smoke, which makes it a lot easier. Uh, one thing to consider when you're the first spawn is when you throw this smoke, sometimes it's okay to stop here before it pops, or maybe right here. Because the opera with the best spawn on T side will occasionally come here and pick this. Even if uh, you're throwing the smoke, you might get picked crossing. So you want to make sure you're aware of that. The most important thing, though, like I said, is throwing these smokes. So you're going to throw this smoke and this molly. Now, the, 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 the thing that a lot of people ask me on my stream and they don't understand why is that you need to pop the vent every round from highway no matter what. So when you cross the vent with your pistol out, preferred, just so you don't waste any M4 ammo, is you shoot out the vent and just break it. And even if you're not playing close, this is really important because on gun rounds, on CT side cash, you really want to mix up how you're playing. So on another round, you might want to have a guy playing close here or close here and maybe a guy sandbag. But the real important thing here is that they're not able to differentiate what setup you're doing based off the nades or sounds they're hearing. Think of it from a tease perspective. If you smoke mid every round, any Molotov boost every round, the person bought a mid and then a, and then he hears the breaking event, the person bought a mid isn't going to know if your setup's different because you, they hear that every round. So they have to assume that you could be close or invent every round. So the beauty of this is actually once you sell it properly, they're either going to have to waste all their nades clearing mid or they're not. And, and you might just get lucky if you're playing vent this round and they're like, okay, well, they've been doing this every round. They might not be vent. Let's just walk out mid. You might be able to get a lucky kill here of them walking through the smoke. Or they're going to forecast it with nades coming out mid. And if they molly vent, you can throw a smoke like this as the first guy. Block out the molly and still have room to peek with it and have a flash throwing over the vent. Now, I'm not necessarily here to talk to you about the setups you could do. You can come up with those on your own time, but you want to make sure you have the two protocols I set down. First is the order in which you throw the nades, and second is making sure you break that vent every round. You could do a number of setups. You could play one sandbag, one close, but the real key here, guys, is making sure that when you do setups like this, you're always throwing the nades the same. Smoke has first spawn, second spawn is going to Molotov the roof, and then that first spawn is going to break vent. You could bring the third guy mid and he can go vent, or you could play nobody mid. Either way, you're going to make it harder for the T's to understand your setup, and then you're going to actually be able to make more setups based off this, and it's going to make holding the A and B site easier because the T's are going to have to forecast their hit more by not understanding your mid control.